Welcome. Welcome. Yo, yo, yo. You? Oh, hold on. I think I got this muted. I wonder if they aged this into the open. I, I muted I muted my computer yesterday because I didn't want to hear order fill or stop fill. I didn't want to hear that while I was playing Xbox. <laughs> now, all you got to do is if you wanted to, like to just keep it quiet um, on the sound set, like the sound mixer when you click on that just put the the program all the way down or lower no i like i like hearing it but yesterday i was like you know what i just wanna i put the position in there oh, I know the risk. to like play I in peace i don't want to know what happened makes sense this morning though bro i had to i had to get all voice out and flip the fuck out yeah i i enjoy doing the stops better then front running it because of that reason. I think the first time I did it, that's what happened. And then the second time was that error um, that they. Well, I just got it's crazy because I didn't even see. So I know trading view starts tweaking. So I was just looking at the ninja joint at the time and sales and I didn't see it go to 4019. So when I look at my order, I'm like, bro, what the fuck happened? And then I'm like, oh, I got to stop. Mm. And then I put the account. I'm like, right, the account's pretty much blown i thought so then i spent fucking 20 minutes trying to log into our trader and then it was like oh you have 220 dollars of drawdown left i'm like yeah we're not doing that one that one renews on uh january 26 so i set an alarm for the 24th to do 10 lots on something imagine i do 10 lots on some shit and pass that'd be crazy now I'm on my real shit though, so now I'm I'm being disciplined. It looks like we're trying to H out on the uh, on the two and the five. We got some fair values on uh we got some gaps up to four thousand eight. He why he why is in the middle. And it's heat on both sides. Break the low. Let's go. I had go. to take a guess. Though. I'm pretty sure people got burned on both sides for Probably. puts and calls. They they did. Because the call like uh we're only up 029 percent on uh on spy and shit. So those people probably got cooked. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Because when we closed that yesterday, hell yeah, those. Is up a dollar, and the implied move was seven dollars. So those people's IV is cooking them right now. <clears throat> All right, let me see what he's got. All right, let's turn this data off. Where is it? This candles be live as shit. And we got. All right, so I'm up. looking at a at a potential short off for four thousand one seventy five. I don't know if it's gonna come pick me up. And then the target would be thirty nine seventy seven. Oh, they're gonna three this. Let's see. Yeah, I spent twenty dollars on a birdhouse, bro, and not a single one's come eight fucking food, man. Wait, say that again. I bought a birdhouse yesterday. Spent twenty dollars on that shit, bro, not a single bird's landed to eat. <laughs> I'm about, to, I'm about to take the bird seeds for myself, bro. You might as well. All right, the yeah, H. So got it on an H. The H hit the we first target already. And then the second target That's... is 398750, which is about a hit. And. Almost. There we go. H completed. Yeah, it literally just it rejected near the four hour BF and I was just like, killing it back down. Nice. I took too long to enter. We have four rejections off that level. We got we got buyers pulled up um down to the eighties. So you'll see how that goes. Let me post the levels. 
to the five minutes in H, 15 minutes in Mess. Miami, I'm Maggie. We'll see. All right, 20 more seconds. Damn, that was beautiful. Very nice. Yeah, it's going to settle somewhere in the 77, 76 area. Wow, that was a 10 point drop. Beautiful. All right, let me delete yeah. yesterday's fibs. Let's see if they 3 2 down this into the profit box. So we got Biden speaking. What else? We got a whole bunch of news today, no? Uh, Biden speaks at 10 a.m. And I think, uh, yeah, look at the watch list. Oh, I, I forget all the top of my head. at 11:30, Barkin 12:40, the 30-year auction at one, and budget at two. Creation. Rejecting off the 50 and the. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. make it you okay? You want This could go for that partial fill near the sixties to get to to fill down that wick toward the bottom that was created at eight thirty. <clears throat> If ES loses 77 and can get can get back above, then I would expect a flush all day. Because that's the that was what we rejected last time. I think like three days ago. And we hit the profit box. Nice. There's no liquidity above, it's straight below. Savage. See what I should have did? In all fairness, I should have waited for this reaction and then shorted the top again. That would have been almost the same thing as trying to play CPI. Oh, compared to before, yeah. Hey, yeah, you know CPI is going to be wild, right? Mm -hmm. You just wait for the dust to settle. You can cast some pretty good moves. So I think that thing with elite trader banning people from trading it five minutes before and after, I think it's pretty good actually. For the live accounts, I think. Yeah, for the elite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the elite live shit, you can trade it. You don't got to wait. But again, why would you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not risking my real account on this shit. I don't know. I learned that lesson. I'm sure it was funny how they changed that rule super quick. People coming out with 10, 20, 30K wins. It's probably what it was. Yep. Yeah. I'd like to see an H on the five minute from here. We'll see. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. That's fucking hilarious. All right, so uh, 39.78 is our fair value. And we use the one hour swing high and low. The one hour swing high isn't technically confirmed yet, but it's fucking like 30 points away. So I'm just going to assume it's there. 
phone. Let me draw this on my Fisher chart. Yeah, so with that doji, with that doji just formed on the two minute, that would be a. That's the point fifty fifth. So, if the trend is bearish today, I am looking for. I'm looking for an H to reject off of thirty nine ninety five. Which is almost near where we uh, where we open. So that's uh, that might be a little steep. Look for a partial fill of that fair value gap at 39.92. If we start seeing some candles start wicking out of there, I'll go short. I'm not going to touch the short niche report. That's irresponsible. Apple's bouncing so off this daily BF. This. And my target is going to be one of these levels down here. Stop this up. Right <clears throat> oh, I don't know what the hell I just did. Uh, yeah, so that's the uh, that's the short idea I'm looking at. If we get on, um, if it pulls up to that level. I guess how you can break the thing. You got to go finish making like your mama. Damn, I should I should have drawn these pids earlier. So we got some liquidity being added at four thousand five, which that's pretty high. Um, most of the liquidity is still found below. After thirty nine seventy, the next big wall is thirty nine fifty seven, which would be the almost the low of uh, the CPI candle. Seventy and fifty-five. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> gonna come pick me up. No, what do Blue core seventy percent. Let's see what else we looking at on the day. Yeah, nice. Davies of October. Yeah. I got I got two and a half points off that drop. Let's see if it keeps on dying out. And if it breaks that, it goes back to this channel. I was actually going to very good in that channel. So now there goes the fair value is broken down. So your next zone, you should be eyeing is 55. <clears throat> it's going to look like one of those days where all my setups leave me. I'm going to wait for another H to take it back down. They made this little baby H near the swing low on yeah, the two minutes. Yeah, on the two minute. I wanted it to be higher. <clears throat> yeah, the two minute was a beautiful TTO. Mm -hmm. Or uh, H right off the two one two down. The one minute got inverted candles before that H down. It's not bad. And they got this doji at 927. Savage. Yeah, it's 11 point drop. Very nice into the overextended zone. Beautiful. Did my shorts go off? Hold on. Oh 
don't know how many shorts covered that open breast up there. That's good, Jordan. Once you hit that goal, get out, bro. Or use the uh, use the eval account next. <clears throat> when I was in my prime for options, bro, I used to hit the goal at 10.30 in the morning every day. Right, let's flip these fibs around see where we at. <clears throat> 70 years, I believe 60. Love. Mega extended is for DK. Makes sense. Very nice. Coin is paying. Holy shit. Now they're killing this thing. Is that trend line, bro? It hits that trend line all the time and it just gets clapped. Wow. Yes. Same thing happened last CPI. It wicked above the trend line and then went back into it, and then we got hit with the drawdown, which is what's happening now. <clears throat> I took if I had the, to target a reaction or a play, it would be this. I took the short this was, off of the coin. If anybody got the watch list, it went about 10, 12 percent from this little drop here. That makes sense. Stuff would be right there. Let's see if the H is. All right, we have a BF on ES at 3958, so I'm expecting a little bounce there. That's a daily BF. We'll see what happens. Our good old friend, Mr. Biden, mm -hmm. is going to be speaking in 14 minutes, so keep that in mind. He has printed a three, a three down on the four hour. Look as excited. Then nobody is stepping up to this. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't. Yeah, I'm, I need them to step up so I can get a short. <laughs> Let's see if they, uh, let's see what happens here on the five. We're near, we're near the 70, so I want to see them try to go to fair value. I want to see them start wicking out there so I can take a play down. <clears throat> and we have a whole bunch of uh, gaps to the upside. And the gap ends at 78, which is near my entry. And we know Biden ain't going to show up at 20. Biden's going to be out at 1130. <laughs> and he's going to get a good there late. Always, bro. Jokes. I thought I had a, an attendance problem when I was working, bro. Nah. Not even heat all the way up there. I'm not saying the heat is at 71, and I'm trying to get in at 76. Yeah, I don't know. Short trigger. When ETF logs me out, I'm going to have to cut this little bit out in the stream. I showed my username. Oh, they're going to hack you, bro. <laughs> it's going to be like a black screen randomly throughout the stream or the, the recording. Yeah. 
We're rejecting off yesterday's lower profit box. Yo, fibs are magical. Going straight to hell, bro. They, they might yeah, just... Yeah, they're not giving me no fucking entry, bro. I should have took that short I mentioned that open, man. That's what I should have done. On the two minute... On, on the two minute, again, there was a 2-1-2 two two down with uh, some liquidity grabs on the inside and two down bar. Sadly, I don't trade. Oops. Uh, the one minute was a perfect H. Okay. And then another one here from earlier. Very nice. Sadly, I don't trade on those, so whoever does, shout out to you guys. Straight trend day down, man. It's crazy. Yeah, we're getting a little bounce off this daily BF. Yep. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get further short. You know what I'm saying? That's a big time. We super plunged the EMA once we lost 85. Swing low test would be 34. Death channel would be 19. Interesting. Walking the shit down, man. Mm -hmm. I never have a time for liquidity. Let me see. Let's see what they're gonna do. They're gonna deep shape this off of the 60, off of the 70. I'm just some magic. Huh. <laughs> what was that thing that I'm you were keeping and... an eye on this uh, consolidation? I want to see how this consolidation goes off of the optimal trade entry fib. So far as holding. Um, I want to see one of the higher time frames, either the five or the fifth, 15. I want to see it close strong. If it does, I might go long here with a take profit at 70. So that'd be a 13 point move for a little Biden pump. But I got to see strength off of this consolidation. Oh no. Like this candle making a new low is not strength. So unless this wicks up very strongly, that's pretty much voided. It's another. What was that thing that you and King said, Triple H? It's always, yeah, it's Triple H, bro. It's so, we, so we got one on the five minute. We got two. We got one. So technically, if this if this makes a new low now, this would be the third one. Yeah. I'm going to wait until Biden stops speaking. I don't want to get in anything just Where's yet. Biden? It's in the low. All right. They're piercing the BF right now. The next level would be 3948, more or less, for the next BF. 
if we reject off this. Yeah, 3948. Jimmy girl, what you doing? Don't delete one of them. Do we get a continuation down? Transaction fee. So you're trying to buy something, son. Yeah. Hey, man, you don't know how to play this, bitch. Why? Yeah, just give it to mama. Mama's gonna play it. Let's build on Vasa. Yeah. Mommy, for Vasa? I haven't played shit, man. It's all good. You gotta be embrace the inner puma. Or uh, what was it? The praying mantis. The praying mantis never showed up again, man. The motherfucker did. <laughs> it's winter. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Damn birds ain't coming to eat no seeds, man. He got wicked out of CPI. What's going on? We got a um. What you call that shit? We got a potential morning star forming on the five minute. The only problem is that it's an outside bar candle. So I don't know how trustworthy those can be. But. We on the five? Yeah, it's not going to pick me up. So you have a three bar on yours. I have extended data and I don't see it. Yeah, bro. Oh, no, no, no. It's not a three bar. My bad. It didn't break the top. Nine, the 950 count. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm eyeing this long. We'll see if it picks me up for a little Biden pump, but I'm not chasing anything today, especially a counter trend trade. That's just crazy. Yeah, I also don't want to see that low break on that last candle. So that's why my stop is basically at it. Stop is at what? It's my left because of that. Break. I'm like, what? You're not being risky, bro? I'm out. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, it's not going to pick me up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, six, seven, five. Damn, I would have been up eight points already. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go grab that liquidity at 72. Then we wanna see if it starts picking out near 78. That'll be our entry to go uh, short again for a revisit to that lower day. Chasing this, this, uh, this long. Let's see if they H us here. That would be nice. No, I think it's going to go. It's going gonna, it's gonna to extend a little higher. It's going to try to take over fair value. They just added some liquidity up at 3,800. So it might wick through there and then reverse down. I'm waiting to see what happens near fair value for a short. <clears throat> Tell me what's Biden going to say, bro. Oh, we're fighting inflation. We're making improvements. <laughs> 
And then he's gonna ignore the fact that eggs are fucking seven dollars a dozen. Dude, that that makes sense because I I didn't go to the I haven't gone to the supermarket in like two weeks. And then I'm seeing all these memes about eggs. I'm like I'm like, why are people posting Bro. pictures like three for three eggs for one dollar? Uh hit me up. I'm like, what? I'm I don't understand. My eggs. And then eggs I, are so crazy right now. <laughs> that's what that's the futures we should have been trading. We should have been trading egg futures. <laughs> I gotta see if uh, yeah. if it's there. You should check the chart, bro, because that's gonna be a magnificent short when it's uh when it's finally uh good. One dollars? No. What's that? California is cap fuck. Yeah, I'm uh we're at uh in North Carolina we're at seven, and that's at Walmart, bro. That's them that's them eggs that are injected with meth. Jesus. Um. Yeah, they're they're uh seven dollars here. I saw a lady pay uh, $49 for five dozens. My, uh, crazy. My uh, there, there's one of, the, one of the people around here, they have eggs in their backyard. They got like chickens. I have to hit them up. Smart. Yeah. My, uh... No, I should put it back up when we pass by here. All right, so there goes the fair value. Uh, we're almost there at fair value. We just grabbed that liquidity. 3800 is still sitting there. So we'll see if that person gets grabbed up. Um, and then what I want to start seeing is I want to start seeing some wicking out here to go retest that 70 fib stop is going to be right there. <clears throat> so this is the newest idea I'm looking at. I want to start seeing some wicks. I want to start seeing some wicks around this area so we can flip short. I might move the entry up. Let me see. All right. Biden started talking. He's, he's on time? No, no way in hell. TTO. Yeah, Mariah, there, the TTO isn't there just yet. If it does TTO or H on the 5, it'll be around this area where we're at now. Yeah, but, but I eat eggs. I eat eggs for breakfast all the time. But Biden is speaking now, so I'll leave it alone personally. I don't like trading when people are talking. He's actually live now, like he's already up. I'm not sure. I'm going to look for the link and I'll post it for you. Well, it's in the White House. Nah, he, he's not there yet. Yeah, he's not going to. He won't be there till 11 something. We got some more liquidity just added at 39.90. So we might get some stuff in there. I posted the link. I'll keep it live on mine so you'll hear it in the background. Oh, hell yeah, bro. For your information, that five more dollars. That's a nice looking candle to go short on. I'm about to start I'm about to start taking a peek. We'll see how it close. Got fifty two seconds on the two. Oh the that shooter. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that closes though. Let's it's rejecting off of the lower profit box. Mm -hmm. It's right under the fair value. Don't leave me, man. I'm updating my levels. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Add to chart. Add to chart. It triggered. And we are set. All right. It looks like it's going to close weak like this, so I'm going to look for a retrace entry in for a short. And I see it for Don't be crazy. Stop playing. Should be up a dot a point. Well, if you got another entry, I posted. You're up three and a half points already. TTO on the 
Hold on one minute. Savage. They going over here, bro. Printing, printing fucked up candles to just flip it on everybody? Yeah, you gotta be quick for those moves. Because the five minute is mega bullish. Yeah, the five minute is that, that evening star, that morning star is pumping out. Yeah, that's an ugly one. I don't like that retrace. That retrace broke the top. The idea is still there, though. I'm just looking. I might try to get a higher entry. We still have a lot of liquidity to the upside. And we got that 3990 that got added. So that has me a little sketched out. <laughs> We're at the 12 EMA, though, in the five. So we could start seeing some rejection action. I'm not in that short yet. I'm just looking at what to do. I am moving up the entry though. So I'm looking for a potential entry. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's so nice now, George. All right, we closed wicks. That's the second injection of this level. I could minimize my stop. I just reduced the stop down there. What is monthly boyfriend? <laughs> That's jokes. I gotta go take that thirty nine ninety. That is the trend flip level, actually. Huh. I could get an entry up here with a stop up here. Yeah, That's right. I don't like this. Okay. And then doesn't retrace the share value. Okay. Okay. I'm looking to see what they're going to do at 9 then. Because uh, the 80s didn't do their job to hold it down. We got that V shape action though on, uh, on the 5. And then we got a hammer on the 15. Yep. So I could take the short here. Put this PT right there. Okay, it's just turn five. That's an inside bar. Right? <laughs> and this is gonna dump it off from here. Wow. Projected the golden zone. Perfect. I'm fucking bullshitting to your back. All right, let's see. Let's see what we're doing. Can we trace the entry there? Stop me at that push up there. Take profit and be in here. That's not bad. I have to get a wick to the upside so I can get in. Yeah. I get And then they're going to H it here, and I fucked up, and then get I hate when they H it. Shit. I want to get as much magnitude as I much can, magnitude. but I guess this is fine. If they, if they three bar this, that would be savage. Nah, I don't think they're going to three bar to the upside. It's going to, it's going to base that, it's going to touch that base at 70, it looks like. That's fucking trash. I should have got in. I felt slow the last few days. Like I've been fucking eyeing these setups and I just sit here and uh and wait too long. What is monthly boyfriend? That's a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, you saw that? Yeah, I just turned around too. 
1099 90s liquidity got drained a bit. Yeah. That stop is way too crazy. What the fuck? for an EMA tap and then it's bouncing back up. That's interesting. Five minute is Doji kind of what's the rejection up here? What's this? 87? Let's see something. 37 will be right here. So we can cast back the dog. Stop for the and the 15 minute is pretty is bullish. Yeah, 15 minute did a two, two up. 30 minute. All right, so if the 30 minute closes inside, we have some candle basing, long wick, short wick, inside bar. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until the 30 minute and see what happens. I'm not gonna touch the five just yet. You gonna wait 20 minutes, bro? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, this is the continuation up. Yeah, because for me, I'm going to wait because the 15 minute reversed. The 30 minute is inside. And we're bouncing off this daily BF with some buying pressure. Yeah, this is somebody, somebody heard Biden. Biden came out or not yet? Not yet. It's still saying we'll begin shortly. I haven't taken anything, Jordan, besides my CPI gambles. We had the 350 MA going for a trend flip now. If it closes above it and holds it on the back test, then we're back to bullish action. Wow, that's a wild pump. That's 20 points. Jesus. Maybe shake this shit, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was twelve points that last time. Yep. Well, this is ATR you've been waiting for. I know, and I'm fucking too slow to get into shit. So if we continue, this will probably retest this this BF up here. It's four hour. At four thousand four. <laughs> Somebody's somebody some hedge fund is reading Biden's um transcript sheesh wow this is wild rejection of 404 do they want to do it wasn't well, there news at 10 a.m too uh 10 30 is gonna be oil news Going to the most recent swing high, which is over the premium zone. What? Yeah. That'll make a new high at the other stage from on the open session for the rallies down there. We'll retrace down there in 15 seconds. Hmm. Does the V mean anything? Well, the V is just the V-shaped recovery, um, which you'll see. Um, we had a bounce, a reversal off the daily bar information here. So basically, they're buying it all back up. The one hour is a fail three down. 
the four hour is coming back up. No, whoops, yeah, the four hours coming back up. We gotta see if they close it as a hammer. That would be crazy. And the daily's coming back up from death from death as well. Might have to start smacking this shit. No, the 15 minute almost hit its first target. We got a few more. She went from negative almost 1% down to back to green. Savage. They're switching up the script because everybody was like, oh, it's going to be like the last CPI. <laughs> let's, um, <clears throat> let's do a straddle. They opened it flat. If you, if they, whoever held their, the calls, I know those made, made money. And then if they held their shorts, that would have made them money too. It's like, uh, it's like, what was it, FOMC last time? People thought it was going to be a crazy move in one direction, then a crazy move in the other. Mm -hmm. And they just got destroyed. Yeah. All right, let's see the right. tap of 4,004. Yo, I was reading the, the mental game of trading. Mm, that thing is really good. Highly recommend. I'm being highly hesitant today. I don't know why. Do you sleep properly? Yeah, yeah. I'm missing, like, I'm missing these little four point moves. Mm -hmm. Like, I know, I know, you know what I'm saying? I know, but if I don't. We got a, a new hour in 12 minutes. This hour might close as a hammer. Oh. <sighs> Oh, Biden is still late. Where is that? Still hasn't started yet. Well, yeah, it's not going to start till like 11. Watch. Dude's never on time. I feel like they're gonna plunge this down soon though. Back to uh, 88. That's 10 points. I'm just trying to get a, a good answer. <laughs> Layman ask if it's Naya's birthday. Thank you though. Yeah, it's on the twenty third. That's her that's her go to theme song, happy birthday.
that was a liquidity grab, wasn't it? It was. On the what time frame? <laughs> On the two. I'm eyeing it now, but I'm thinking, I think it might have been. That five minute looks a little weird too. Yeah, it's rejecting off the overextended zone on the fibs. But the hours, the hour is about as close as a hammer. And they got nine minutes left. I don't mean to think of my entry, let me see. It's having trouble here, and I'm fucking slacking. I should be taking shorts. We got some more pool liquidity up at 4,004, so I'm trying to see if I can get a wick up there to grab this short. 15 minute though is looking promising, even though I got nine minutes. Five minute looks good for a short. Yeah. And we'll see. And there's nothing crazy. The short will probably go to uh, around 39.91. Gotta clear out all the liquidity below. My thing is, I don't wanna chase no fucking entry. I wanna get a good entry. I should be chasing her, to be honest. Alright, we got oil news in nine minutes. Diablo, mano, claro, es bonito. I don't know, this could be a flat, but. Inside bar and bird and hammer, bro. Why? On what, the two? Yeah. Oh. Oh, three, one. See if they three one two down this. I'm gonna miss this short. I already should. Oh. Can add that to the goddamn wish. But at the second target, there it is. Third target from the fib. Bro, I'm trying like some absolute ass. <sighs> they might TTO it on the two minute. To the upside. Are y'all looking at anything? Assuming anybody here is trading options?
Oh, you definitely called it. Biden's <laughs> 30 minutes late. Inside on the five minute. We're still rejecting off this uh, overextended zone. Ah, for the 4,000 level. King, what time frame on the inverse head and shoulders? You can see it on the two and on the five. Oh, let me zoom out. Oh. You gotta ignore that big ass wick though. Oh, wait. Oh my god, bro. Another fucking short miss, bro. Jesus Christ. Literally, all the candles are based out right there at 4,000 now. Yeah, I had, to, I had to turn on uh, to turn. extended or electronic extended. hours to see it. Yeah, I can definitely do that. That would be crazy. Do it. Oh, boom, boom, boom. This would be a five minute TTO if we close ham if we close as a hammer, and then the one hour is going to close as a hammer in the next forty seconds, and. Uh, Yeah, let's see what happens.
looking it over. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get off at like 11 in about 30 minutes. Uh, for those who were on with me earlier, like I was mentioning, long wick, short wick, and then they just take it up. Right off the 50 in the golden zone too. Let's see what happens. The one hour's inside, thirty minutes inside. Probably get some chop here.
Let's see if they complete this five minute TTO. U.S. natural gas futures extend gains up 4.5% after EIA reports surprise storage build. Let's check out gold real quick. Or oil. Yeah. Looks like news didn't do too much. Yeah, it pumped it a bit. First target hit on the five minute, if anybody took that TTO up. I guess technically the second one too. Thirty minutes about it. Well, we already did two one two up. All right.
I'm mainly waiting for Biden to talk because I don't necessarily like this range. The TTO on the five minute was a good trade, but besides that, he's taking way too long to come out. morning so i'm a little late and uh i'm doing it uh oh he's finally here you please have a seat national cathedral at uh after 11 but uh good morning today we've got some good news good news about the economy for the sixth month in a row inflation has come down measured over the last 12 months it has fallen 6.5 to 6.5 percent that's down from 7.1 percent the month before it's down from 9.1% this summer. Inflation is now at its lowest level since October of 2021. When we look at the, at the, just the last three months, we see that inflation fell to 1.8% on an annualized basis. It's down from more than 11% in the first three months of last year. So the data is clear. Even though inflation is high in major economies around the world, it's coming down in America month after month giving families some real breathing room. You know, the big reason is falling gas prices. My administration took action to get oil onto the market and bring down prices. Now gas is down more than $1.70 from its peak. And that adds up to a family with a typical family with two vehicles to a savings of $180 a month, every single month that stays in their pockets instead of being spent at the pump. Food inflation is slowing as well. Last month, we saw the smallest increase the in food prices off. in almost two years. And much of that increase was due to the avian flu outbreak, which has driven up the egg prices around in the United States. It's not just gas and food prices, though. When we look at what economists call core inflation, which takes out energy and food, we see welcome news as well. Core inflation is down to the lowest level in a year. Over the past three months, core inflation has come down to 3% on an annualized basis. That's down from more than 6% at the beginning of 2022. The cost of goods is actually falling as prices from everything from computers to used cars are coming down as well. And inflation in the core services is moderating as well. You know, and as inflation is coming down, take home pay for workers is going up. Workers wages are higher now than they were seven months ago, adjusted for inflation. Wages for lower income and middle income workers have gone up even more. It all adds up to a real break for consumers, real breathing room for families, and more proof that my economic plan is working. When I came to office almost two years ago, the economy was flat on its back, as you'll all remember. Millions of people have lost their jobs through no fault of their own. Millions, millions who kept their jobs saw the hours and paychecks cut. Hundreds of thousands of small businesses permanently closed their doors. People were hurting badly. That's what we inherited. The pandemic was raging and the economy was reeling. We acted decisively to put in place a new strategy that would build a rescue, would rescue the economy from the pandemic downturn. At the same time, we laid the foundation for a stronger, more resilient economy for decades to come. An economy that grows from the bottom up and the middle out. Now, now, two years in, it's clear, clearer than ever, that my economic plan is actually working. Here's what we've learned just last week. Unemployment is the lowest it's been in 50 years. I'll say that again, the lowest unemployment rate in a half a century. My first two years in office were, were the two strongest years for job growth on record. We created nearly 11 million jobs, including 750,000 manufacturing jobs. And there were two of the strongest years ever for small business creation as well. And today, unemployment rate is near record for lows for blacks and Hispanic, black and Hispanic workers near record lows. And it's the lowest ever on record for people with disabilities. We're seeing American families breathing a little easier. More Americans have health insurance than they did ever in our history. Fewer families are facing foreclosures today than before the pandemic. And we still have more work to do, though. 
but we're clearly moving in the right direction. And there are more, there's more breathing room in store for American workers and families. Starting last week, as of January 1, a month's supply of insulin is now capped at $35 for seniors on Medicare. Some are paying hundreds of dollars every month for their insulin, but not anymore. <clears throat> Starting last week, if Big Pharma raises prices faster than inflation, they're going to face big penalties. Starting last week, Americans can get tax credits when they install energy-efficient appliances in their homes, like heat pumps or solar panels, or when they buy electric vehicles. They, they, these were all pieces of what that big law that we passed last year. Now they're kicking in, and Americans are starting to feel the benefits in their everyday lives. But that's not all. We're seeing historic investments in American manufacturing turn into new factories and new jobs from Arizona, Ohio, Georgia, New York. Companies have announced nearly $300 billion in manufacturing investments here in the United States since I became president. Instead of exporting jobs like we did for decades, we're now creating jobs and exporting product. Creating jobs and exporting product. That's the idea. Now the House has elected a new speaker. I can call him and congratulate him. I'm ready to work with him or any Republican Congress to make progress on the on, for the American people. Well, like many Americans, I was disappointed that the very first bill the Republicans in the House of Representatives passed would help wealthy people and big corporations cheat on their taxes at the expense of ordinary middle-class taxpayers. And it would add $114 billion to the deficit, their very first bill. House Republicans campaigned on inflation. They didn't say if elected, their plan was to make inflation worse. Plus, House Republicans have introduced another bill, blocking action that would help lower gas prices and help consumers. And on top of that, House Republicans are preparing to vote on a national sales tax bill. National sales tax, that's a great idea. It would raise taxes on the middle class by taxing thousands of everyday items from groceries to gas while cutting taxes for the wealthiest Americans. And if I'm not mistaken, what they've introduced, it also would totally eliminate the IRS. Feels good. <laughs> eliminate the IRS. Sales okay. tax. Go home and tell your moms. They're going to be really excited about that. Come on. Is this how the House Republicans are starting a new term? And the Fed, yep. Cutting taxes for billionaires? That'll be Raising taxes for working families? Making inflation worse? Well, let me be very clear. If any of these bills make it to my desk, I will flat <laughs> veto them. I'm ready to work with Republicans, not this kind of stuff. They try to cut Social Security and Medicare, which Americans have been paying into every paycheck. I, I will veto them. It's going to be a meme for the next two days. I'll use my veto pen to stop that as well. But if Republicans want to work together on real solutions to lower inflation, create more jobs, build an economy that works for everyone, I'm ready. That would be amazing. Let me close with this. I'll be okay Today's with inflation tax. numbers are good news. Good news about our economy. We have more work to do, but we're on the right track. We're seeing bright spots across the country where great things are happening. <clears throat> Roads and bridges are being built. Factories are coming online. People back to work again. Families breathing a little bit easier. That's why I can honestly say, you've heard me say this before, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart, I've never been more optimistic about America's future than I am today. We just have to remember who in God's name we are. You've heard me say it many times. This is the United States of America. There's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity. We work together. So God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, thank you, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, okay. classified, classified material next to your Corvette, what were you thinking? Let me, uh, the <laughs> Yo, that, guy, that guy that guy came with the soon, bullets. But as I said earlier this week, People, and by the way, my Corvette's in a locked garage, okay? So it's not like you're sitting out in the street. So the but anyway, in a yes, as well as my Corvette. Um, but uh, as I said earlier this week, people know I take classified documents and classified material seriously. I also said we're cooperating fully and completely with the Justice Department's review. I like how he's as just part reading of that, that process. My lawyers reviewed. They other scripted places that for him in case somebody asked. My, uh, and, uh, from my time as vice president were stored and they finished the review last night. 
They discovered a small number of documents of classified markings in storage areas and file cabinets in my home and my, in my, my, my personal library. This was done in the case of the Biden Penn, uh, th this was done in the case of the Biden Penn Center. The Department of Justice was immediately, as was done, the Department of Justice was immediately uh, uh, no notified and uh, the lawyers arranged for the Department of Justice to take possession of the document. So you're going to see, we're going to see all this unfold. I'm confident. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. How's the first lady, sir? How's the first lady? She's doing really well. She, uh, um, she was under a long time. Uh, for five hours because what they were doing is they take out would do the mows meaning remove what they thought would might be cancerous and they'd have to then go back and test it and see what it was but she's doing really well she's up we had uh, we had breakfast this morning she's uh, she's recovering um and she can be sore for a while because of the work they did on her eyes and uh but on, you know that's where one one of these uh these were but she is a Zero, zero to one percent chance of ever re return of any cancer, and so thank God she's doing really well. Thank you for asking. Interesting. Well. Well, Biden's leave, I'll take mine. If anything, just send me a message at me, whatever needs to be done. I'll talk to you guys later. Trade safe. Oh, yeah, King, that freaking question that, that they asked him, like, he immediately went down and started reading off a, off a piece of paper. I'm like, come on. Anywho, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.